brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. His testimony could prove invaluable to the government's case. Michael Dwayne, how do you plead at this time to the 46th charge of conspiracy as a misdemeanor, a violation of 9 GCA 1330? Guilty, Your Honor. Mr. Dwayne, are you pleading guilty because you are guilty? Yes, Your Honor. On Monday, Gora Executive Director Michael Duenas entered a deferred plea with the government for a single charge of conspiracy as a misdemeanor. Last year, Duenas and Gora's David Sablon, Cecile Suda, Johnny Lau, Rosie Blas, Roland Selvage, and Deanne Torrey were charged with various misdemeanor charges, including conspiracy, official misconduct, and violating the open government law. Court documents state admissions from some board members to investigators revealed commissioners met for quote-unquote working sessions to determine how they'd vote during meetings, including how they'd facilitate the award of millions in tax credits under the Low Income Housing Tax Credit Program. While his co-defendants have filed motions to sever their cases or have their charges dismissed, Chief Prosecutor Joseph McDonald commends Duenas for his bravery. He's taken a very brave step. And, uh, and decided that he would like to cooperate and provide assistance to the government. And I think that it, that's important and it shows quite a bit uh, as to his character. If uh, everything goes as planned, then Mr. Duenas has agreed to testify and uh, testify truthfully and provide cooperation and everything goes as planned, then the charges will be dismissed. The case McDonald hopes will set the example there's zero tolerance for corruption in Gov Guam. It's important to have transparency in the running of the boards. And so you can see that uh, even though it is a misdemeanor, what we're really interested in is upholding the policy of the law, which is to have transparency when uh, boards meet and so that people can see how they're being governed and they don't yield to, uh, to uh, you know, the decision makers and uh, actually understand what's being brought as public business in front of the public. No word yet if Duenas' position at Gura will be affected by this case. I'm not able to comment on that. I believe that uh, it's an appointed position, so it would be up to the governor. I will say that Mr. Duenas is a, uh, uh, a valued public servant, and he's been with the government for a very long time. Sablon, Suda, Elal, Blas, Selvage, and Tory, meanwhile, are set to appear in court next month. Their motions to sever and dismiss remain under advisement. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.